Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Scourgebringer. Having an all right day myself. I'm ready, I think, for the punishment that comes with knowing that I'm gonna be playing a little bit of Scourgebringer. I'm ready, I understand what I'm getting myself into. I feel okay. I feel confident. I'm not sneezing as much as I normally am. Let's give it a go. Five chaos, but with two of the harder challenges enabled, enemies have double health, are more aggressive, have faster movements, all rooms are more difficult. What are the, uh, the next hardest ones? I mean, definitely one HP is hard. Enemy waves uh, coming at three instead of zero enemies remaining would also be difficult. Not getting any health would be get difficult as well. HP not dropping, like HP healing items, or maybe even HP max HP upgrades. Um, that would suck, but it's not like the end of the world, because assumably the better you get, the less likely you are gonna be to need the all the HP you get, right? In theory? I gotta remember how to play, though. I, I don't play Scourgebringer every day or anything like that, so... In a lot of situations, I do kind of have to remind myself what the heck is going on in this bloody game. Not like it's actually that bloody, it's just always fast-paced. And a little difficult to figure out what's going on when you jump into a run, but so far I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know what you guys are doing. Oh, what the fucking bad language, first of all. Also, the bat, really? Really? Right, I forgot all about that, and then I should have used a dash. I'm I'm making a ton of very easy to figure out mistakes, which I'm actually just honestly kind of embarrassed about. Yes, I'm I'm honestly a little bit embarrassed about my performance there, because every every hit of damage I took, I pretty much recognized why I took the damage immediately after I took the damage, which is not not good enough. You gotta recognize that you're gonna take the damage before you take the damage, but a lot of just kind of like hanging out near enemies I shouldn't be hanging out by, that guy in particular, and just getting myself killed when I shouldn't be. I always feel like I have to yell when I'm playing Scourgebringer, but you know what? Maybe a little bit of excitement is exactly what I need. Or calm cool, collected, relaxed. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> um, for each enemy killed while not touching the ground, you get 10% sword damage while running is allowed. I, I just don't feel like that's particularly great, although it could be pretty good for a room, but eh. I actually hate to say it, but I think a reroll is a good option here because I would like to Maybe get better loot for the entirety of the run. Now we are very low on HP. Which is admittedly a little scary. Don't forget about your gun too. I always uh, forget about the early base level guns because they're so bad. But that is my fault there. Yes, the early base level guns are bad. But you should still use the damn thing. Grenade launcher, fantastic. Actually, I don't know if the grenade launcher is any good. I just know that it's not the starting weapon, so we should use it. What a what a strange weapon. <laughs> wow, that's this is an annoying room. We can get around that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is actually going quite well. Yeah, yeah. Just took it slow, just took it slow. Who would have thought that that's all you need to do in order to be successful here? Well, and be, you know, smart and handsome and rich and help too. Run. Also running a lot. That, that seems to help frequently in this damn game. I like the grenade launcher for the spread, I have to admit. Hard to say if that's actually going to be fantastic 
overall late game whatever. But I certainly enjoy something that's very spreadful early. If that enemy hit me, I would have been very disappointed. Go ahead. I'm trying, by the way, because uh, I took so much damage. I'm trying to actually... I got hit by the freaking bug! <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to play and talk at the same time. This game is real stressful. Um, I'm very much... I just stood there. I was going to say try to finish the floor and then heal a little bit. So that's bad. That was a bad performance, and it's also bad that we're not going to have a blessing. I don't really think that invincibility when you get hit is particularly great for a, a perk, but we lost it anyways. It was just poor performance. <clears throat> you get one, like, real bad room, and then all of a sudden you're kind of screwed. <clears throat> Apologies, that sounds disgusting, I know. That'll be the last one, though, I swear. It's going to take, you know, plenty of practice to get good at what is, you know, an, an extremely difficult game mode and challenge. Got him. Okay. That was pretty okay. You know what I would have loved on the last floor? To find a freaking shop. <laughs> or last run. <laughs> <clears throat> secret room. Let's see if we can get a very good perk early. Lucky Charm seems pretty nice. More likely to drop any sort of a upgrade. 10% weapon damage. Can't really complain about that. Sword damage in particular. Let's, you know, be very clear. <clears throat> Sorry. Triple machine gun. I don't even know if that's any good. Double revolver. I don't think I've ever used it before. Cross grenade. I've used it plenty. Uh... Two HP is pretty good. It's weird, but like, I guess in theory, you would care about the max HP less because what you would want is... That was close. Ho! Oh! I should have been hit. I should have been hit multiple times, I feel. Okay, we, we're okay, we got it. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh my god. <laughs> I have to admit, I would really like to get blast reload speed. I like the guns, and I like the fact that when you actually start being able to spam them, they're significantly better. Um, but max HP is probably for me, because I'm going to need the max HP. You know, at some point, I, why, why did I not just decide to smash you? That was just silly. We took one damage. That's fine. That's fine. We need to go fight the mini boss. I, I have a new stratagem dealing with uh, mini bosses. Save them to the end. There, there's no reason to do them early. As soon as you fight them, that's just bad. But also, it's just bad timing for things. You're gonna fight, you're gonna fight, you're gonna fight, you're gonna fight. You know, we don't need to fight him now. Let's fight him later. Let's fight him later when we actually have maybe a better weapon. Fight him later when we have uh, like a new gun or a better reload speed perk or, you know, anything. Fighting him early is like the stupidest thing you can do. So I'm, why am I always so uh, inclined to do that? Good question, right? Smacking enemies around has also been like a huge help. Also, knowing a couple of things, like for instance, the um... Oh, I got stuck on the freaking wall. Almost got hit multiple times. Um... I'm kind of floundering.
deal with you two, then we can deal with you guys. Um, <laughs> knowing which enemies die to a smash is also great. Oh my god, he, he stalled me out for so long and then he attacked me when I decided to go after him. Um, cause some enemies you just smash them and then they die, which is like freaking ideal. Excuse me. Please die. Thank you. Now. Thank you. Okay. These uh, yellow bats also die in one shot, but I kind of just like dashing into them, honestly. I'm surprised I killed that um, upper turret in one shot. <clears throat> I didn't expect that to happen. We have finished the floor. <laughs> and we're not that badly off either. Let's get our upgrades done. I would very much like to have some upgrades before we're done with this. This would be um, not necessarily super difficult, but certainly annoying when both waves spawn at the same time. Good. Yoink. What's our upgrade perk, by the way? Like, completely forgotten what I actually took. Very nice. I did not expect him to attack immediately. Also, I expected to have a better little dragon dash there. Not entirely certain what happened on that one. We'll, we'll come out of this fine. It did take more damage than I would have liked though. Fury is recharged. We should probably use that as soon as possible. Um, let's go fight the mini boss. Take a look at the shops first. Shotgun, diffract laser, assault rifle for thousand and sixty that's got to be worth more than anything else we can buy max HP we can afford to have you know five percent less reload speed for a while but just the good gun yeah it's pretty good it's also the easy boss the boss you want to fight <clears throat> shouldn't take too long to kill him Yeah. Easy as poi. No. I would like to heal, I think, and increase max HP by two. We can afford the reload bonus when we are done with our boss fight. Let's do this. We have Fury Recharge. We have a good weapon for dealing with the adds that spawn, especially the, like, wall turret guys. I gotta find out a good strategy for dealing with that him. Didn't quite get what I was looking for done. Get away, doing a punch. Got him. I think we can actually just finish him off with the gun. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. I'm just gonna hit him one more time. <laughs> that could have could have gone better. Could have gone worse though. I definitely uh, took more damage than I should have. Let's say. But it's a it's a it's a struggle. It's a trial. We should have also used fury. I suppose this boss um, he's not that good at using fury. Like maybe um, when he goes to the center of the arena and smacks his hands together. Maybe that's an okay opportunity to use a little bit of fury, but it doesn't seem like it. All right, six HP. Floor two. Candle boy. Candle boy is real tough. Also, the most annoying enemy from this locale is definitely the um, 
laser crystal man, of which, in certain situations, like now, that was bad, but also, oh my god, that's actually terrible. Just, like, die, please. Uh, yeah, the laser boys are really annoying. Also, that was just really annoying because I actually tried to dash straight. Um, it, it's hard to pay attention to this when you're actually watching someone play the game. If I dash to the right, here, I dash to the right. But imagine right here where I'm standing right now, there's an enemy. If I dash to the left, I'll actually dash left and then up trying to hit the enemy. So that's exactly what happened there. I wanted to dash purely to the right just to close the gap, but instead I um, had a little bit of autocorrect kind of happening there. It's just like controller auto-aim to an, to an extent, or maybe that's exactly what it is. But it cost me uh, a hit there, which kind of threw me off, and I think it actually cost me a couple of hits. It happens. Just got to be a little bit more careful about those types of situations that can develop. I can't really afford to waste a lot of HP. as you can no doubt imagine, considering how bloody hard this game is. I need to... Get more stuff done, there we go. Increased probability of getting drops is gonna help us recover the HP that we've already lost. It seems unnecessary, but I just wanted to do it anyways. I haven't used Fury yet, that's the thing. Yeah, 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 I can't quite... I should just use the gun. I, I couldn't quite get myself in a situation where I could approach the enemies because they were all firing at the same bloody time. <laughs> Reload speed by 10% is worth it. We have to wait. You know what? Let me uh, reroll this real quick. Max HP by two is okay. Uh, it's gonna be hard to afford everything on this floor. Definitely things feel like they get more expensive as time goes on. It's the freaking inflation of uh, Scourgebringer, am I right? All right, everything's been stunned. Everything can now die. Fury recharge immediately. Let's not burn through our other Fury. <sighs> Let's not fight the boss though, or mini boss rather. I'd rather go in there with Fury, ironically enough, because I just burned through it on the last freaking level. A room. <laughs> that was a mistake. Definitely didn't mean to do that. I definitely didn't mean to do that either. That was just silly. And uh, I forgot that you hadn't actually been killed. This is just actually going pretty poorly. I gotta stop taking so much damage. It's hard. It's hard not to take the damage. And a four HP already. Join are you? You're actually maybe one of the easiest bosses to fight. You just create a circle of bullets around you, which is rather easy to dodge, actually. Yeah, you're dead. Now, <laughs> the freaking jellyfish did summon like 80 jellyfish, but we dealt with them as well. We're gonna recycle those. We need the cash. We need the cash to buy other things. It's as simple as that. No, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I'm afraid, okay? Without being in a boss fight, it's hard to find a good opportunity, I think, to use Fury, at least for me. You know, I'm definitely angling towards trying to find a way to heal, but when are you gonna actually get an opportunity to heal, you know? There has to be so many bullets on the screen. I don't know the exact number but it's gotta be like, you know, 20 or 30 bullets in the screen in order to actually get enough to heal you. Otherwise, you don't heal at all when you try to use it. There's also, there are just like little strategies 
that I'm picking up on in Scourgebringer. You know, kicking enemies in one direction is a strategy. Kick an enemy in one direction, and then you can have like an opportunity to attack him here, where you're actually protected from enemy bullets. So that big guy in the middle, it's like, okay, kick him down, kick him down, and then he's trapped in the corner with me. Lots of little things to keep track of and try to learn. <clears throat> I think that these are all good for me, but I think I'm gonna take quality looter because we have the thing that creates more drops as well. So in theory, not only will we get more drops, but there's, they're gonna be better drops as well. And that's certainly, it, it's not gonna apply in all situations, but you know, I actually think this might be an okay time for that because I just needed a minute to kind of collect myself. Hello. Oh God, I missed you. <laughs> and not in that way either. I definitely don't miss you. You can freaking die. Yeah! Should have expected that. I mean, I did kind of expect to get hit, you know, once, but we healed for three off of this. And we're gonna have full fury. We're gonna go into the boss fight. This is not that bad. Could also fight this first to get a little bit stronger, which I think I'm actually gonna do. I don't anticipate it being terribly difficult. It was actually very close. I hate that there's those uh, bullets just kinda Bullets, rather, just kind of hanging out there. That worked out very well, surprisingly. I did um, use my dragon accidentally. It happens. Uh, and that time it was actually unintentional, which means I'm gonna take some damage. But luckily, these enemies are not terribly difficult at this point. Don't summon more, though. Okay. <laughs> that that could have gone way worse than it actually did. That was not that bad at all. There's an ammo refill as well. A fury recharge, I don't, I don't think we need it because we're about to get it. Anyways, let us not worry about this because I don't want to spend HP. Let us get reload speed up, get two HP, fight the boss. I think we'll be okay. Nine HP is, is nothing to sneeze at. We'll try to, if I can remember, I'll try to use the um, damn Gotta, gotta handle the enemies first. Really does feel like on this fight, you just kinda wanna stay aerial. At least that's what it kinda feels like for me. So, <laughs> I didn't realize, and I should've realized this, I didn't, oh my, I just took like four damage. Uh, I didn't realize that the candles are what summon the bullets on that attack not him. You think that I would have picked up on that by now. Um, but I, I had fury and I kind of just completely wasted it um, because I, I may have healed a little bit, but I also just took an absolute Christ ton of damage, which is not good at all. It's gonna be another big boy being summoned in here. Yeah, I couldn't, I took a couple of hits because I couldn't move fast enough. We might survive this at this point. It's not guaranteed. You know what? Wait for him to summon all the bullets, then toss that in there. So we did heal for one there, but this was a pretty, pretty poor performance overall. It's a hard fight though. 
But all, like, all of the freaking bosses are hard fights at this point. It's not gonna get any easier. We can't go into these fights saying, ah, oh, well, it's hard. Well, yeah, they're all hard. We just can't afford to take this much bloody damage. We have five. There is an opportunity to heal in the future if we can get lucky enough and are good enough to not die. And most importantly, if we get one perk, then we can get a perk on the beginning of the next run. It, sorry, it gets, it just gets a little chaotic, okay? <laughs> You probably know this by now, but these runs get a little bit chaotic. Sometimes it's hard to create cogent commentary over the, all of the action that's happening. I try. <laughs> I try my damnedest sometimes. Note, I didn't say all the time. Man, thank God for all the people who told me that the uh, green slime is yours when you just knock the enemies around once on death. I felt like that was a good opportunity to use the Fury because that's an annoying enemy normally. It's another one of those altars, which is pretty good. And there is healing and there is weapon damage. Weapon damage is 5%. I might wanna, well, here's the thing about, that was just so dumb. <laughs> here's the thing about um, weapon damage. 5% is not that much. And here's the thing about re-rolling the, um, or attempting to re-roll the uh, heal, which is that it's not actually heal, it's max HP up. So if you re-roll it, you're gonna, what you're gonna get is probably, um, just wait, just wait. I don't think I got the goo, so I'm just gonna kind of hang out over here. Uh, what you what you are gonna get is like plus two shield when you reroll it, and then what you're gonna get after that is the plus three HP. But I don't really want to spend four times cost on what is essentially one HP. It just seems like a bit of a waste to start rerolling that plus two max HP because it is two. And on max health, well, I guess we're just gonna take determination. It's not great. Let me get that out of the way right now. I really don't think that's a very good uh, choice at all, but I really don't want to re-roll and then go down to three HP, so I would much rather gain 10. That's a bad hit. And then I didn't see that there was another enemy attacking there. Just try to like push him out of the pit so I can actually attack the bugger. And then I completely whiffed. I, I'm kind of struggling here just because of where that enemy was placed. I, I handled that extraordinarily poorly. At least I acknowledge it, right? I acknowledge my badness. Is it badness or is it just flipping hard ass hell difficulty for this bloody game? Can it be both, I suppose? Really don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to. I think that's a good use of Fury. Any like super hard enemy, I think I'm just gonna use Fury on. Just sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Um, not really finding what I wanna find on this floor. And definitely um, what's unfortunate is that we did kind of just waste a perk. It's not a, a waste, you know, it did give us a lot of HP, but. We're not exactly getting permanent benefits out of that, you know? This guy is super resistant to being stunned. It's stunning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we want stunning mod. We're just gonna get rid of one of the uh, the other ones that we have. Keep piercing. Even though it still doesn't really seem like it does that much on enemies like that that have just absolutely absurd amounts of uh, bullet reflection. Those constructs, man. I mean, I think Constructs are some of the most difficult enemies in the 
That was stupid. Um, some of the most difficult enemies in the game, aren't they? That was also stupid. You know, Constructs, they have lasers, fast projectiles, lots of HP. They kind of reflect your own projectiles. They're the hard ones. I don't know what hit me. I'm just gonna be honest. I think it was one of those flies, which is a little embarrassing, but. Also learning, um, those enemies, those sentinels, for lack of a better t phrase, but I, I don't know what they're called, but I actually think sentinel is not a bad way of s phrasing it. That's kind of what they are. They're really annoying, but using the dragon's dash into them when they're coming at you, I, I think works pretty darn well. Because while they're coming into you, They are, um, well, you know you're gonna hit them. If they're going straight and you're going straight, you can just smash into them and then they'll be freaking dead, dude. Be freaking dead, dude. Hey. Any more than 10% damage bonus, I'll tell you that right now. Please go up, thank you. Smash him. Um, my, and, uh, I'd rather not use Fury on this room. I, I gotta say, I, I, I really like... You're gonna get in. You know what? I really like Scourgebringer. I think one of the mechanics that I actually like the least is um, the one where when you're attacking enemies, you kind of just, you fly around a little bit. You go bam, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right. It just makes it really hard to position yourself. I was up here smacking an enemy and I got pulled against my will left a little bit. Maybe there's a way that you can kind of influence how that works. Well, this is just a freaking terrible. I don't know when you're gonna shoot, you keep delaying. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I'm just gonna use the dragon smash in order to, in order to reflect his own bullets back at him. It didn't work that way, did it? Yeah, we're gonna absolutely die here. Unfortunately, I, like for this boss, you wanna keep him low. I'm not doing that. Not on purpose, it's just, it's not working out that way. As a result of not keeping him low, um, well, I mean, let's just be honest. We freaking took a lot of damage there. Uh, all right, uh, 5,000. Tell you what, reload speed. I can't afford this if I reroll. I'm not gonna be able to afford the health, so I'm just gonna take it. I should've just taken the max HP, honestly, but whatever. Also, really annoying fight. I really thought I would actually hit the projectile too. Hit nothing. Let him create far too many projectiles, taking a lot of damage. I don't know. Can I kill him? Not yet. I don't know what, oh my god, I got, I mean, I got stuck on the wall. I got stuck on the wall, and because I was in the wall run animation, I didn't fall that fast. Ugh, tough game, dude. Tough ass game. Maybe I should be playing a little bit of this on my own to practice, to actually try to make it, you know, further every time, and then you can actually watch the good parts of the, of the attempts here, but, well, that's not quite as easy content, is it? <laughs> Requires me to play a lot of video games on my own when I'm not actually recording. Um, it's hard, man, it is hard. I feel like in particular when I'm trying to play something like Scourgebringer, I, I'm not focused on anything, no chat. I'm just focused on the game and talking to myself. It, um, it gets hard. It gets hard to, um, 
analyze, I suppose, my own play. But, I, I don't know what I'm actually trying to say. I had a point and then I took a drink to give myself a minute to think and then I kind of lost my point. <laughs> Happens more often than you might think. No, but I'm having fun with Scourgebringer. It's hard. I hope you enjoy watching me struggle. I know that probably quote unquote, some people have said something akin to, it's nice seeing a bad at a game. I'm pretty bad at the, this version of Scourgebringer with the Chaos Trials enabled, but we're gonna, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. As long as I'm having fun with it, I'll play it. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch. For when I go live, support the channel, any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Scourgebringer.